pounds back when I was playing junior back home, and I emailed her and told her the situation that we had here, and she she sent us uh, like fifty some bucks. So it was awesome, you know, a great donation on her part. And um, those books are in many many communities across Canada with the reading programs with the juniors. So it's kind of the same thing, and we just happen to be able to carry it down into Minot, which is very fortunate. That's kind of a neat connection that you guys have there. And then, um, so the, do the kids get to keep the books? Uh, once we read to the school, every school gets two books. We have the one that says Puckster's uh, first hockey sweater and then Puckster's first hockey game. And, and uh, we, we, we put, give those to the school to put into their library system if they choose or whatever they choose to do. So there was a few of the older grades that we would only read the first few pages and then encourage them to go and finish the book. So just so they get, you know, get the reading part of it down. Okay. And then um, you don't just give them books, though. I see there's some neat towels and stickers here. Yeah. Well, we got to be, uh, I can hold this one up. Is, uh, this is our, our new... Our new Read to Succeed uh, program towel, it's got our Beaver logo on it, and it's also got N83 fireworks, and, and can't say enough about them. Um, the Vondell family up on North Hill, uh, they, they helped us out greatly. They, they donated uh, money towards towels, and, and uh, either some kids, we, we couldn't get enough towels just to cost and stuff in the first year of being in the program, so um, some kids are going to do different, uh, different things if they read so many books or, or, you know, encourage them in that way that they can, they can get a towel out of the deal. So it's something for them and it's read to go with everything else we got going on. That's, that's really cool. And then who, uh, who is the sponsor on the stickers? Uh, the stickers is the big one too. Hold these up, I guess, too. Um, uh, the Read to Succeed, yeah, model the stickers. Uh, A to Z signs in Minot here, uh, the Jordan family, you know, they've been awesome too helping us out with stickers and, and donating everything to us um, the kids get them you know it's just it has our logo and it's easy you know that we play sports but also just the encouragement to read to succeed you know reading not only just to read books but just be be active in school and, and really work and work and set goals in school to work towards but they aren't just good people they're also good players um how many of you have games have you guys won in a row now well i think it's up there i think it's nine or something i'm not even too sure so so i'm up there we haven't it's it's been a good stretch i think the last one led back to in ohio at the end of november so uh, we're on a little roll here but uh we keep working towards success so yeah and then um one thing we haven't talked about is this t-shirt back here that reads i believe so um this is a little um, I don't know, a campaign? Would you call it a campaign? Yeah, we're kind of doing it as a motto. Uh, one of our, our, our things as the players was to, to believe in our each other, believe in each other and to believe what we have, you know, in the locker room. And uh, it's just a way to reach out. It's kind of a fundraiser deal for us to help us along to nationals. Um, the front says uh, the national championship journey because that's what we're on right now. And coming back after Christmas, we really, really uh, push that um, in the dress room that you know we're on the run we're on, we're on the home stretch here and uh, to put it all forward and it's a way for our, uh, our fans to get involved it's fifteen dollars a shirt um, and any player you can buy it from any player and and uh, what we're pushing towards is is having the fans wear it to either the game against U of A and really the the 15th when we play SU we want to we want to have the whole rink red and that's uh, that's why we had the towels for the kids red the shirts red it's just kind of like the sea of red is what we're going for yes yeah, so i actually have a shirt back here would you look at that so this is uh, the front of the shirt the national uh, championship journey so uh, nationals is actually march 1st through 6th so trying to get uh, all the fans to wear red the last couple weekends in play because they play University of Arizona and um, Arizona State. So a lot of exciting things coming up. Is there anything else that you want to add? No, it's just, uh, it's just like you said, uh, for us to get back to the community with the reading program and, and a lot of players coming from small towns. And, and uh, my part of being kind of the directing it and stuff is getting the players to work around their schedules and you know what we i have to say thank you to our players you know they they love coming out and doing it but you know a few of them have missed a couple classes here and there to go and be a part of it because we can't thank the fans enough in minot for coming out and supporting our games 
and, you know, when we get 12, 1,300 people at a game, it's, it's a fun atmosphere to play in. And, and they give so much to us and our sponsors all across town, A to Z and then 83 and all those guys too. So it's just a great way for us to get back and, and to encourage kids to, to stay positive, work hard their things. And, and I know uh, a lot of our players on our team are learning a lot of things from the kids and just how big role models they are in this community that we love so much. These guys don't, our players don't have to go do it. You know, they want to do it. So that's a big part of it. And, to volunteer their time and some guys would rather sleep in till 10 or 11 when they don't have class but we're up and at it at 8 a.m. to make sure we're at the schools and, and you know welcoming the kids to school and stuff like that so it's it's a lot of fun for the guys too especially when you get into the floor hockey games you know some of the schools we've done that and it gets pretty intense but it's a lot of fun and it's just good to see the kids smile and have a lot of fun. We'll just be watching out for those uh, sea of red and make sure to be at those games at this February and good luck to them in Nationals. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Jersey Shore, I think, is the biggest waste of money ever. If somebody wants to come give me 200 grand to walk around and act like a meathead, I'd be more than welcome to do it. I just think it makes you know people that aren't from America look like or think that we look like we're you know idiots. We have Canadians on our team; they think we're idiots because of it. So, no, not a snook. I, I don't even like the show. I used to watch it, but I just I can't fathom they get $200,000 to do the stuff they do. It's stupid. Do you think Snooki will be a good mom? No, it shouldn't be awful, are you kidding me? There's more, there's more of those flashy sensor things when she's on TV than there is for anybody else. No, not a chance. <laughs>